from the cold, hard, flat surface of the floor. Nothing rose above the plane except this little trinket. As the cloud moved past the sun, it exposed the light on the trinket. Now, this little trinket wasn't as small as it appeared, having been placed there by gods many decades before. Only the light knew it was there, and every day for decades on end the light would visit this trinket. The trinket talked to the sun with reflections of joy as the sun's presence. Some days the sun would visit, but had a hard time seeing the little trinket. So one day, when the sun knew it was getting closer, it looked down on the ground it had seen many times before, and in the sun's sight it seen two people, and it caught the attention of the sun instantly. Thinking about the trinket, the sun wondered how it could help the trinket have this which it had just seen. The sun came upon the trinket and gleamed in and shone so bright that the trinket glared back in joy at the sight of its only friend. The sun had told the trinket that in the morning, I will bring a gift so grand, specially for you. After the sun had left, the trinket laid in wonder of what the sun could bring to a little trinket that had nothing and no purpose. Not being able to sleep that night, the trinket fought to sleep with no sleep at all. Meanwhile, the sun traveled all the way around the world and found not one, but two things that this trinket could only have ever dreamed of. The sun shone down on the two things it had chosen for the trinket, and it shone so bright that it created an exact duplicate of these two things. Now with such a joy in the sun's heart, it was brighter than ever before, and that day, all around the universe, everything felt it was brighter. And when it came to the lonely trinket, it stopped, took a deep breath, and blinked. In that instant, the two things that the sun had carried with it went straight into the trinket. And the trinket could feel what the sun had done. So pleased with what the sun had done, the trinket instantly told the sun that it was forever indebted to the sun. The sun shined with such joy that the trinket knew it was not necessary to vow to the son who just wanted to help. So humbly, the trinket now had something. Something that was given to it, and now was to be given away. Without words or deeds, the trinket disappeared. For many decades more, till the time was right, when the moon and sun shined at the same time, when that moment had arrived, the sun filled the moon, and the moon filled the trinket. It was then that a magic happened. The trinket started to shake, to tremble, and then it just popped open, and the smoke of some never-before-seen kind rose from the trinket's top, wrapping around itself and coming to form two people. And these two people, the story is just beginning for them. There is more to come. So do stick around to watch. Flipping Frog Presentations Soul Thank you, Lorian, for your inspiration.